it's sounds fairly obvious. The maths are pretty simple. The sustainable economy is something that can continue indefinitely. It can continue forever. It can be sustained. You cannot grow forever unless you have an infinite amount of resources. We live on a finite planet, we have finite resources, therefore we cannot grow forever. Economic growth, continuous economic growth, is not sustainable. A sustainable economy must have net zero growth. Fundamental, no question about it. Zero waste is a little bit more complicated, but the maths are almost exactly the same. You cannot take resources from somewhere and throw what you do not need away. We cannot take complex hydrocarbons, cook them and cure them, <coughs> turn them into brightly coloured plastic, bury them in landfill. We cannot do that forever, otherwise we run out of the initial resources. It is not sustainable. So zero growth and zero waste are two fundamental parts of what a green economy must be. When we start to think about how that is different to the economy that we have now and start to address the nature of the transitions that we need to make, we get run into some really interesting questions very quickly. We have just had, we came very close to a second quarter of economic contraction or non-growth or recession. Technically a recession is when we have two quarters without growth. It causes politicians to panic. It causes the business community to panic, and it especially causes the financial community to panic. And newspapers don't really question why that is such a terrible thing. And it just behooves us just to think for a minute about what, why growth is such a fundamental part of our economy. And the simple reason is that the financial system absolutely depends on growth. There is no point a bank lending you money to buy a house if the value of your house is not going to increase. Because there is no way that you would be interested in paying the interest rates that the bank requires to make a profit if the value of the house was not going to increase above the value that that interest adds to your loan. So the entire underpinnings of our financial structure, the entire nature of interest, depends on growth. So without growth, we do not have financial institutions. When our financial institutions collapse, so does economic growth. So we are talking about a very, very fundamental change when we talk about a sustainable economy.